Hey, what's going on, people? It's your boy Tony right here with stories written by a current prisoner. You have just tuned in to the Muhammad on Work Project. Make sure to hit that like and most definitely hit that subscribe button. I have a call from an inmate out of California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using... How you doing, bro? Hey. What's yeah. going on? Oh, shit. No much? Hey. Uh, well, my name is Noah Angel Gonzalez Hogan. I'm 41. It's December 29th. Uh, born in Mexico. Came out here to California, Los Angeles, when I was 18 months old. Um, just, I, wrote, I grew up in the uh, South Central uh, L.A. area. And at a young age, around like 11, 12, 10 years old, I got jumped in the Florence 13 uh, gang, and um, ever since then, I've been in and out of the system, you know, running the streets, uh, doing what I need to do and, and for my neighborhood, and uh, so um, from a young age, I've been in a trap house. I lived in a trap house. My grandmother had 15 other siblings of mine in her one room. And she had like eight, six, ten lock deadbolts on the on the bedroom room, uh, room to the living room area away from that. So she had her other side of the room, the back half where the window was knocked out to build a, a shower and a bathroom and a little hot pan for a refrigerator because basically all the homies and homegirls took over the living room, took over the whole house, you know? And it was a house where uh, they were sitting on a large amount of, uh, of key, kilos of different kinds of drugs and guns and everything. So, um, I was a little kid running, running around, didn't know, we had no furniture, it was just a black and white 13 inch TV with cables going all through the neighbors, all the way through the next neighbor's house to the next neighbor's house, all the way to the cable, to the, uh, to the, uh, uh, uh what's that called, the, the voltage, uh, transformer, you know, and so, it probably got our electricity, crazy, but, but true. We weren't fed, we weren't anything, it was just drug infested, just a kickback spot. Nobody had respect for my grandmother's house, nobody had respect for just anything that was going on. Until one day, uh, some people, a family of her, my uncles, they came out the feds and put a stop to it. And then uh, I'm in and out of the system, foster homes, we're in Riverside. Uh, Orange County, LA, and then um, some, I did I did a shooting and uh, put two people in uh, paralyzed one vegetable, the other one, and uh, went to YA, in and out of YA at the age of 13 all the way to 21, and uh, it's been been a crucial ride for me, you know, my family. Gave up on me. I gave up on them. Everything is just just makes black and white colors. You know, it's just black and white. There's no kind of uh, anything. No support. No letters. No birthday cards. Nothing. So I do it all by myself. And uh, now I'm in prison for uh, an assault, uh, a battery, uh, 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 ADW assault, with deadly weapon, and uh, ten with great bodily injury to someone else that uh, put my friend, so-called friend, in the hospital, a uh, female, and uh, she was, she was, uh, whatchamacallit, um, she was battered pretty bad. She had a broken rib, fractured jaw, two black eyes, a broken arm, and a cracked skull. So I took it upon myself, and I just didn't know what, what I was doing. I just was going, my sister asked me to go get the Tupperware and 
the in the knife shop because we were having to have a family reunion, right? All family was in the together in Newport Beach. That's where I resided. I live in Orange County now, in Newport Beach. Uh, anyhow, I seen, uh, she said, drive my car wherever. I, I was driving and uh, came to a light. I seen an individual who uh, I knew that battered and assaulted my friend. And um, I pulled the car, her, my sister's car into a parking lot. And I put in a uh, park for a letter, hey, I'm going to prison, I love you. I threw the key under the mat, and that was it. Took a uh, eight inch uh, filer from the, from the knife set. It had a point, and then I ran across the street and I asked, what's going on, what's up on me? You know, uh, you put uh, Nicole in the hospital. And then after that, I saw to the individual, and from there, um, I ran. Anaheim PD, Fullerton PD were alerted and they had to get over up in the, in the, in the sky. And then uh, from there, uh, this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead, bro. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, um, uh, uh, that happened. I went to Orange County. Uh, uh, my main jail, they had me there, I went to my arraignment, they were talking about 7 to 21 years, and uh, I didn't take it. So from there, I, uh, I asked my attorney, hey, what's up, man? Let me get a deal, man. I, I don't want to be here no more. So he's like, he asked uh, the judge, and the judge was like, I'll, take, I'll give him uh, 7 years, uh, 3 months. So I jumped on it and took the deal. They struck my prior, two priors, they struck my uh, two strikes and uh, an enhancement. And uh, from there, within a week or in the next month, they sent me back, they sent me up to uh, Wasco. And then from that time at Wasco, I've been getting in trouble, uh, assaulting in, individuals, uh, doing things that I had to. Uh, basically survived, you know, I, and I became a part of a, became part of an STG group uh, called the 25, and then I was part of that from 2006 all the way till 2008, which I just, I didn't have life, I don't know what I was doing, I just, just wanted to be part of something, you know, I, and I didn't need to, which I had myself, and so I just cloned out one day and just, they did what they did, and I just like, you know, I'm cool, so, but prior to that, there was somebody supposed to get hit, and uh, I signed up for it, and I raised my hand for that, and uh, that didn't go well, and it got gaffled up for a knife, and then uh, from there, uh, they took me to the hole, they, uh, from the hole, my cellie, uh, uh, I went to yard the next morning, my cellie stayed back, and then from there, uh, I found out uh, something was going to happen to me, so I, I whatever, I, mean, I took it as it was coming, and uh, I got hit five times, six times in the back, you know what I mean? And then from there, the custody scene, what's going on, is oh, I can't be here, you know what I mean? So, which... I was bold, they kept me in the whole cell, and then from there I went, came and went in my own cell, and I've been just all myself ever since, and I'm cool with that. Now I'm in RJD for a uh, smack. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. And so um, I'm in the hole for uh, an assault, and they found a weapon on me, so now I'm, I'm dealing with that. Uh, you know, it's been it's been this ever since. But uh, you know, I'm I'm just trying to better myself while I'm in here because I have three more years to go. You know, this, uh, this is overrated for me. It is. I'm too old. I'm 41 in December, so uh, I'm just trying to maintain. You know, and. and fix my issues for myself because it's, it's not a B number, it's a B number and uh, I'm cool with that, you know?